Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun under the sun Shining on Imagine Island Friends are always there, they always care Come on, let's meet our friends Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun for everyone Here at Imagine Island Let's go! <sighs> oh, hello everybody! Welcome to Imagine Island! <sighs> Jack, you're yawning. Are you tired? Yes, Booster. I couldn't sleep last night. I was trying to figure out what this is. I don't know what this is either. Hmm. What do we say when we need some more information? Mike will know. What is this? This is a lemon. <laughs> hmm. What is this? You don't know either? Where did you get it? Well, I found it in the museum yesterday. It was going to be thrown in the trash. Why was it going to be thrown in the trash? Well, no one at the museum can remember what this is or what it does. This is very sad, Jack. This is a forgotten treasure. You're right. This is a forgotten treasure. What are we going to do? We're going to find out what this is and put it back in the museum. How will we find out what this is? Hmm. Well, the words... <sighs> yawn <laughs> and yesterday both start with the letter Y. We need to learn about the letter Y. Let's go see Chloe. Maybe she can help us. Right on time! Here are some more letters. Capital Y. Say capital Y. Capital Y. Y, yarn. Put your finger on the circle. Trace, capital Y. Y, 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 capital Y, Y. This is the word yarn. Yarn begins with capital why? Look at the letters. Click all the capital Y's. Is this the letter Y? How about this one? Is this the letter Y? Capital Y. Exactly right. How about this one? Is this the letter Y? Capital why? Fabulous job! Great job! Now we know about the letter Y. Y. Your. Booster, this is your arm. And this is my arm. <laughs> y. 
yesterday. Yesterday was Monday, and today is Tuesday. Yesterday is the day before today. That's right. <laughs> Why? Yarn. Yarn. I found some yarn yesterday with the forgotten treasure. Do you think the yarn is part of the forgotten treasure? Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you use yarn for? Maybe Amanda will have a story that will help us learn what we use yarn for. Good idea. Let's go see Amanda. I'm so glad you're here. Come and listen to this story with me. Make your own book, written by Raymond Lamborn, illustrated by Jim Madsen. Let's make a book. First, get three pieces of paper. Fold the papers in half. Now, put three holes along the folded part. With scissors, cut three pieces of yarn. Make each piece as long as your finger. Put each piece of yarn through a hole. Then tie each piece of yarn in a knot. Now you have a book. What will you write about? That was an interesting story. The elves used small pieces of yarn to tie the pages of the book together. Yes, the elves used small pieces of yarn to tie the pages of the book together. But the forgotten treasure is not a book. <laughs> no, this is not a book. Huh? Now, what else do you use yarn for? Chloe will know. Come on. Let's play with some describing and action words. Click one of these pictures to see it move. Short. Long, short, say, short, long, say, long. The dress is short. The dress is long. Short and long are opposites. Way to go. You learned some useful words. This is a short piece of yarn. Yes, that is a short piece of yarn. Yarn is used to make clothes. But this forgotten treasure is not something to wear. <laughs> You're right, Booster. Huh. Now, now, what do we say when we're confused? Mike will know what to say when we're confused. I don't understand. You need a small piece of paper. Thank you. Ah, I don't understand. Uh, what is this? What? Look at the picture. Now, what? What picture? On the forgotten treasure? Look! There is a picture on the forgotten treasure. It looks like a picture of an animal. What kind of animal is this? Hmm. It looks a bit like a sheep. Is this animal a sheep? No? Huh. Maybe it's a goat. Is this animal a goat? No? Oh. 
What is this animal? And what is the forgotten treasure? Don't worry, Jack. We'll find out what the forgotten treasure is. I know what will cheer us up. Let's sing a song. That's a super idea. I feel better already. What song should we sing? Let's sing the letter sound song. the yak? <laughs> Is this a yak? Yes? <laughs> You're right. This is a yak. This is important information. This is a picture of a yak. We need to find this yak. How will we find the yak? Huh. The words yak and yarn both start with the letter Y. We need to learn more about the letter Y. Remember, capital Y. Each letter is written in two ways. This is small, Y. Say, Y. It has the same sound as Capital Y. 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 Yarn. Put your finger on the circle. Trace Y. 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 This is the word yarn. Yarn begins with Y. Look at the letters. Click all the Ys. 
Is this the letter Y? How about this one? Y. Fabulous job. Is this the letter Y? How about this one? Y. Way to go! Yay for you! Now we know all about the letter Y. <laughs> oh, y. Young. Young. Y. Yell. And Y. Yummy yogurt. Jack, the yarn in the picture gave me an idea. What's your idea, Booster? Yarn can be made from the hair of a yak. Maybe the yak made this yarn. And maybe the forgotten treasure belongs to the yak. If the yak made this yarn, then maybe the forgotten treasure does belong to the yak. Well, let's go ask Pete to help us find the yak. Come on, everyone, let's go. Do you see the yak? No? Maybe Pete has found the yak. Let's call him. How can we call him? We'll yell as loud as we can. What will we yell? Huh. What do you say when you want to find something? Let's ask Mike what to say when you want to find something. Hello. Hello. Where is my yo-yo? Where is it? Here it is. Where is it? <laughs> Let's all yell together, where is it? That's a good idea. We'll all yell as loud as we can. I'll count to three and then yell. One, two, three. Where is it? Pete heard us. Listen. Come on, Jack. Pete's waiting for us. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I think I know what this is. Do you know what this is? You do? What is it? Let's watch Mike's video again. Hello. Hello. Where is my yo-yo? Where is it? Here it is. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a yellow yo-yo. <laughs> yes, it looks like a yellow yo-yo. But the yarn is very short. Oh, yes. This yarn is too short for the yo-yo. Hmm. We'll ask the yak to give us a long piece of yarn. Let's go! Thanks, Pete, for helping us find the yak. The yak is a very good mountain climber. Yes, the yak is a very good mountain climber. But how does the yak get down from the mountain? The yak uses a parachute to get down from the mountain. <laughs> Wait, Booster, do you talk yak? Yes, Jack. I speak yak. Huh. Will you ask the yak if this is his yo-yo? Yes, I'll ask the yak if this is his yo-yo. The yak says that the yo-yo is a very special toy. Well, tell the yak that we'll put this yo-yo in the museum. 
Now everyone will be able to see this very special toy. That made the yak happy. Oh, Booster, where's the long piece of yarn? Look in your pocket. I'm in trouble! Sizzling circuits, Jack. I'll help you. Phew! Oh, that was a long piece of yarn. We have a problem. We do? Oh, we, we found out that the forgotten treasure is a yo-yo. Yes, we found out that the forgotten treasure is a yo-yo. We found the yak and he gave us a long piece of yarn. We found the yak and he gave us a long piece of yarn. So what's the problem? How do you attach the long piece of yarn to the yo-yo? Oh, <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Let's listen to Amanda's story again. Maybe we can learn how to get the yarn on the yo-yo. That's a great idea. Let's go see Amanda. Make your own book. Let's make a book. First, get three pieces of paper. Fold the papers in half. Now, put three holes along the folded part. With scissors, cut three pieces of yarn. Make each piece as long as your finger. Put each piece of yarn through a hole. Then tie each piece of yarn in a knot. Now you have a book. What will you write about? That was a great story. I think I know how to attach the yarn to the yo-yo. How will you attach the yarn to the yo-yo? Huh. I'll do what the elves did. The elves tied the yarn to the pages. And I'll tie the yo-yo to the yarn. Good idea. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Try it out. I'll give it a try. I don't know what to do. Uh, do you know what to do? No. We need a yo-yo lesson. No problem. Watch this. Wow, that looks like fun. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Jack, oh. it's time to oh. go. Well, we've had an amazing day. I found a forgotten treasure in the museum. It was a yo yo. Then we learned about the letter Y and found a yak. And we learned these useful words. Long. Short. Now I'm going to take this yo-yo back to the museum. So everyone will know the children have been playing with this toy for a very long time. <laughs> Thanks for your help. See you next time. Goodbye. This program has been brought to you by Imagine Learning. 
For more information, visit us at www.imagineisland.com. Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun under the sun Shining on Imagine Island Friends are always there, they always care Come on, let's meet our friends Let's go exploring, running and soaring Around Imagine Island We'll find some fun 